All right, YouTube. Something super special today. My old collection arrived. And this is only part of it, but this is definitely the most interesting part of it. Uh, I got all my first editions my, and my special cards in this stack right here. Got all my rares here. A uh, few mix of Japanese and first editions here. This stack right here is all first edition cards that I had. Uh, and these are all, these are just some of the cards that I pulled. I don't know why. I don't even know what set this is. I, I have no idea, but I had a bunch of fossil cards, base set two, jungle, and uh, base set cards. So, and, and I don't know why. I pulled out all the Squirtles, War Turtles, Charmanders, Charmeleons, uh, but I don't have the Charizard. Never was fortunate enough to pull the base set Charizard while I played. Also had this coin in it. I didn't even realize there were coins. Uh, it's an OG coin, uh, Nintendo 2000 Wizards. Uh, pretty cool stuff with a Pikachu. Really cool hollow there. But on to the really good stuff. So this is like the good, the best of the best that I pulled from my old collection. A first edition Espeon. Uh, now, I did... I played with a majority of my cards. I played Pokemon the whole time, but there are a few cards that I, I just immediately sleeved and put them away. Mind you, I was middle school, high school during this time, and this was one of those cards, this first edition Espeon card. Really good good shape. Uh, when it came here, uh, when, I, when I first received it, it was just in a, a old uh, sleeve. Uh, one, of, one of these guys. So I... I took it out, I put in a soft a penny sleeve and a top loader. And then a uh, few of the, you can see out of, I mean, I, I my whole collection was, had to be thousands of cards because my whole collection came in. These are the only ones I put in a top loader. And, and that's really the most impressive one is starting with that Espeon. Then we had a first edition Dark Machamp. We had a first edition Sabrina Hollow. I saw this and I got so excited. It's a first edition Dark Charizard, non-holo, non-holo, uh, and he, I, this is my. I don't know why, but when the Team Rocket set came out, this card I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Uh, each player plays with his or her prize cards face up for the rest of the game. Didn't particularly like the 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 uh, effect of the card, but this art I just loved it. Uh, and then I had this uh, Blaine's Arcanine. Uh, all in super great condition. Uh, out of that whole set of, it, it had to be around 3,000 cards. Uh, one, t I, I, six cards. Six cards I put in top loaders. Um, had a few promos uh, from back in the day. Uh, I guess I, I still had Ancient Muse in the pack. Very cool. I, I got a cool Porygon still in the pack. Yeah. And, uh,. Team Rocket's Meowth, uh, an Anti, an Eevee, a Misty Seedra, and a Mew promo card. I have actually a, a few of these cards. Uh, and actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I did pull a few of the Misty's cards that I wanted to keep. And I put them in my Misty's collection. Uh, I have them right here. Yep. There they go. So these are my Misty's collections cards. I, I, I had a thing for Misty, and to be honest, I I still have a thing for Misty, so it's whatever. Um, I had I I we never sold these in America, so when Misty's Tears came to America, this is the first edition. Uh, it was this card, and it was a huge big deal that you know as a young man. Oh yeah, the Japanese uh, Misty's Tears. She's naked on it, so I had to get it. So I did, uh, and then I had another oh. Just a Misty card. I thought it would have been a first edition. And then a, a first edition Misty's. Wow, out of all those, only one of those is not a first edition. Of course it's the... Oh, and then a Japanese uh, Misty's Duel. So there's my Misty collection. And then I did put this Chansey. She's pretty beat up. But I figured since she's the first card... Oh, she's not the first card. She's the third card. Well, there I go jump the gun again. Belay that. Um, and those are all the cards that I... I Top load and sleeved up. Uh, what else do we got? These were a few few of the cool pairs that I had in my set. Uh, this Grimer, I remember this Grimer was a big deal because uh, 
Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it here, but in the English grimer, uh, you can see the grimer's eyes are just kind of there. In the Japanese grimer, you can tell it, the grimer's looking this way. Hmm. Wonder what that grimer's looking at. So I had those paired up. Uh, I had this uh, computer error. Don't really know what I paired. I, I guess I just ran across this at some point, and since I had the other one, I kind of paired them up. And uh, also a, a Dark Flareon, a first edition Dark Flareon, a Japanese uh, Warui Busuta. Busuta. So I had those as well. And then also throughout my set, I just had a few, just a few Japanese cards. Uh, this is, I guess, a Sabrina's ESP. This card was a huge controversy in the States. The English card does not have this, this emblem because uh, it's commonly thought of as a swastika, but it is not in Japan. This is uh, this symbol is a is a religious symbol uh, used for worship or prosperity and happiness. Uh, I had a Blaine's Charizard and a Sabrina's Mr. Mime. Uh, and the only Japanese cards I had in the set. Uh, I had this little binder. I had this little binder, which was which I thought was super cool. Uh, there's one really cool feature that I set up in this binder at the very end. Uh, let's see. I didn't. So I, I pulled some of these cards already, but these were just you know they're not in the best condition. Like I said, I played. See, there are all those Muse I was talking about promos that I had. These cards are not in the best condition. Uh, I did play with a majority of them, um, but they are amazing. I I, I even played a. Uh, Dread the Dragon Ball Z collector's game at one point. Man, this brings back so many memories. Every Saturday, Armchair Commanders playing in a Pokemon tournament. That was that was where I was. Oh, another Japanese card. All right, there's another first edition Dark Machamp non hollow. And uh yeah, I don't I I remember so many more cards. Uh, but talking to uh, my parents who, who had all my old cards, they said, this is it. This is all you had, bud. We sent them all. Uh, these are the three trainers. I have three trainer hollows. Really cool. Man, this brings back so many memories. So many memories. Dragonite promo. Yep. And that, I think, will do. Yeah, a few more Japanese cards. Uh, Meryl promo, and then I think the rest is just kind of a, a mishmash. And then this is something I don't I don't remember doing this, uh, but I remember what it was. It was my Zubat cave. There's a whole bat here. I, I thought I had more Zubats, but there's only two, and this is my Zubat cave in the back of my binder. <laughs> I don't remember how that happened. Oh, and here we go. And this is the last of the, of the goods that I pulled. These are all the rare cards that I had out of that whole collection. As you can tell, they're pretty beat up. Had a Gengar from again. That's I don't remember that set. Jung, Jungle Scyther. I loved the Scyther card. Loved playing with this card. I I loved it. Rocket Scyther. Pincer. Who didn't have a first edition Machamp? Who didn't have a first edition Machamp from playing back in the day? This one's not in bad shape. This one's pretty beat up. Gyarados. Loved the art on this card. Nido King. Polyrath, Vaporeon, Snorlax, Mr. Mine, Magneton, Hitmonlee. Really like this guy too. I, I remember Hitmonlee, uh, Hitmonchamp, and, and Scyther were like, I don't know, they were just different than the rest. They didn't evolve and, and they just had pretty good attacks off the uh, off the get. Erica's Vileplume. That one's actually in pretty good condition. Nido King, and then the rest are, are all non hollows Sabrina's Golduck, Erica, a few Ericas, Sabrina, Charity, Lieutenant Surge's Electabuzz, Scoop Up, Pinsir, we're into base at two now, Snorlax, two Mr. Mimes, Genghis Khan, a Ditto. I actually just caught one of these in Pokemon Go. Ooh, a first edition Genghis Khan. I gotta set that one off to the side. Flareon. Poke Trader. Pokemon Trader. Electrode. Lass. Doug Trio. Ooh, a first edition pincer. First edition. Oh, and these are the. 
Yeah, first edition Sabrina's Golduck. Uh, and then these, I don't even remember playing with these guys. I don't remember these guys coming out. Uh, Cleffa, Magby, and Elekid. I, I honestly don't even remember this set. I thought I only played up to uh, Team Rocket. Uh, but I do have some uh, gym, gym heroes. I, I kind of remembered that. Because, uh, you know, I have, I have a few gym cards. Uh, but I don't remember this set at all, the babies. That's awesome. And then this stack right here, this is all the first edition cards that I was ever able to pull. I don't have any other than the Machamp uh, first edition cards, but you you just get up and buy the uh, that first edition Machamp. It was in the in the starter deck uh, when uh, when you bought the base set Pokemon card. So a bunch of first edition cards. I, I gotta say this this come through seeing this is is just fueled my fire uh, to start collecting Pokemon again and I and I have uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it and I plan on sticking with it I'm enjoying sharing this with you guys through YouTube it, it's been a great time and, and I've started a minor collection of mostly Japanese cards really um, but really getting into the uh, Mugen zone uh, infinite zone started collecting these guys again got these with a uh, the special promotion out of the uh, <clears throat> When you buy a booster box, you get one of these. As you can tell, I got a few booster boxes, <clears throat> and uh, of course, I I did say I, I do have a thing for Misty, so I do have a, a minor Misty's collection. Other than those ones that came with my old set, uh, I started getting a few more Misty cards. I think that's the one that set it off. Uh, Misty's Water Command, Misty's Determination Full Art, and then Misty's Favor. Now this is what started everything for me back up again. Oh, I don't know what those guys are doing there. This is the card I'm looking for. I'm going to continue to get Sun and Moon SM11 Japanese packs and get this full art in the Japanese version. But I saw this card and I had to have it. I have the English version now. I just got to get the Japanese version. And the hunt will continue. Got a thing for Misty. So I hope you guys enjoyed my collection. Uh, let me know what you think of it. I, I'm... I, not looking for for value in it. I, I realize the condition that most of these cards are in is probably not going to be able to get them to sell. But I just enjoyed it, man. Seeing these cards again, uh, going through them, sorting them, it was super duper fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, and I'm back. I'm going to be collect, collecting them, catching them all. I'm going to be catching them all. Have a good one, YouTube. Oh, like and subscribe for more because there will be more.